Hi, this is Shadi and before I start this video, I just want to thank you all for surpassing 1000 subscribers. Um, lately, the numbers just grew and grew like crazy. I did not expect this at all. Um, when I first started, I had like maybe two or three subscribers or 20 subscribers that are still commenting till this day and I'm very thankful. Um, I did not think it was possible but um, with consistent work months and months and working on a daily basis whether it is research, editing, narrating, um, technical analysis, looking at footage, um, etc. Now it is here and the 1000 subscribers, I know it's nothing in the YouTube world. I, the big youtubers you know gain thousands of subscribers every day but to me this is just enormous and I'm very thankful for your interactions your comments your discussions uh, every like every comment everything really truly helps me to create more content and create and do more research and I am happy to do this on a daily basis discussing and learning about uh, probably my favorite topic in the whole world I've done so many things in life but judo is probably from childhood my favorite thing and I'm so happy that I created this platform and you guys are listening and interacting and I have an audience an intellectual audience I probably my comment section is the cleanest uh, comment section there's no trolling there's no bad words there's no you know discriminatory slurs etc it's all just intellectuals debating and proposing ideas even when you disagree I learn etc etc I am beyond thankful and I hope we can grow and create better content uh, maybe interview senseis uh, legends um, you know accomplished judokas because I do live in France and there are there are a lot of them so this is probably the next step so without further ado let's get to the topic of this video so today's video is about Tatsukuma Yushijima um, it's a history lesson it's particularly Kimura's teacher so the fact that Kimura was so strong and so relentless and practiced like a maniac had a reason behind it and that is this man Yushijima. So Yushijima was born on March 10th 1904 and passed away uh, May 26, 1985 so that's relatively a long life. Uh, he was one of the toughest of the Koryo Jiu Jitsu uh, practitioners or fighters and judo competitors of his time so he was uh, called Oni no Yushijima which means Yushijima the devil he was very uh, tough he had a very rough personality uh, his glaring or his staring was very sharp almost like he was determined even though when he was calm or just sitting by himself so Let's talk about a little bit of his rituals in order to get him to the you know tough judoka that he was. In the morning he would go uh, running every morning at dawn while uh, pulling a sleigh that was weighing 60 kilograms and at night he would get into shorts and practice uh, his body using boulders, you know lifting etc. Uh, he would go and in the morning you know most of us we have coffee etc he would go and just put uh, bitter tea leaves in his mouth in order to wake himself up uh, he would practice tackles or like an osotogari against a large large tree relentlessly if you remember from my uh, kimura video i said that he would uh, practice the osotogari against a tree uh, this is where he got the idea from obviously and also uh, he would uh, wrap around a belt around his waist a belt and drill uh, over 1000 seonages. Uh, seonage is the throw where you charge someone over your back and throw them so and the night before the competition he would drink this is rumored I'm not sure if this is true but 
it is rumored that he would drink the blood of turtles and on the day of the competition he would uh, have a mouthful of powder from a viper snake so I don't know if this is true but you know with time and you know people really appreciating uh, you know figures they would just add these little um, habits to their training and to their daily uh, routines which they might seem absurd I don't know if this is true but this is what is rumored he would also uh, on the mat he would charge his opponent relentlessly um, he was always on the offensive he would always take top position he was very dominant in his judo and this is became the style of Masahiko Kimura if you are watching the Hiryo Gracie versus Kimura you would see that Kimura attacked first with the Osotogari and maintained top position controlling dominating relentlessly uh, the fight and someone you know practicing the Osotogari against a tree someone like Elio Gracie will not have a chance of defending it so at the memorial birth of the crown prince tournament uh, Yushijima caught a parasite that uh, took over his liver and because of it he lost over 9 kilograms or around 22 pounds and even though you know walking became impossible he lost his appetite etc in order to prepare himself for the tournament he secluded himself in a cave meditating for over five weeks you know doing the zen meditations and it is rumored that he chanted uh, the book of five rings by Miyamoto Musashi in preparation for this tournament so it was his determination uh, to compensate for his uh, you know illness and his mind was far more stronger than his uh, body but uh, regardless he did not win that uh, tournament so other than that uh, one of his accomplishment is actually uh, when he started competing uh, the all japan was new so he won the second and the third all japan championship uh, and other than that uh, i like when judo takes place in the political context in what was going on so in 1944 he attempted to assassinate uh, the emperor hideki tojo a general leader of the Im imperial japan of that moment so 1944 keep in mind world war ii was still going on uh, imperial japan was uh, still dominant if you don't know uh, imperial japan was very discriminatory was very ruthless was like a dictatorship they did horrible things to the chinese and the neighboring countries so he had strong uh, feelings against the imperial system and in 1944 he attempted a political assassination so uh, but uh, it failed and he was arrested but uh, after that he was released and he was the founder of the International Judo Association in 1950 so it is uh, it is strange that he wasn't executed for this political uh, assassination attempt however uh, it shows that within the circle of judo uh, they knew the concept of justice and the lack of discrimination uh, etc so in order to be against the system and the empire of japan you would have to you know, go against their uh, you know principles or morals so to speak so it is clear that he was against invading other countries he was against discrimination etc so you can um, let's not generalize this but uh, his circle or at least the judo circle at that time was uh, far more progressive and far more open-minded than uh, the you know system or the culture that was going on and that is imperial japan so this is very important to see how the judokas thought at this time uh, not just you know what they practiced and what they uh, accomplished from medals like I said really nobody cares so I like to put judo in the political context for example uh, the widespread of judo throughout Europe and America was due to the diaspora because the imperial Japan and the Meiji restoration was going 
to make Japan uh, from feudal and rural cities of agriculture into industrial and technological country so a lot of them were working in mines in very poor conditions and thus they immigrated and uh, chased a better life in America, Hawaii um, you know, I know um, Hawaii is part of the USA but still and also Europe so it's nice to get a glimpse of what they thought politically also not just that they practiced judo and went and traveled and spread judo um, so Yushijima is a very uh, interesting personality not just uh, from what he has practiced but also what he gave to Kimura and also politically in times of war and all this stress he went and even planned a political assassination against Imperial Japan is uh, I'm not saying I condone it or whatever we I, I really don't know the context of what was going on because it was war etc but uh, he had major quote unquote balls to do this so he's truly the devil and before I end this video I just want to leave you with a quote from him and it basically says judo is nothing less than a martial art when a soldier breaks his sword and runs out of arrows in the end life and death is determined with Neiwaza end quote so he was a very interesting individual um, once again I want to thank you for so surpassing 1,000 subscribers. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.